so hi everyone welcome back to my channel that is dr duet and for those of you who don't know me i am anshfa currently a second year mba student at a government medical college so in this video i'll be telling you about how i cracked neat 2023 by focusing mainly on biology and chemistry it's not that i completely neglected physics but i concentrated less in physics because biology was my strongest subject and physics was my weakest subject and um, how much ever time i used to spend on physics physics used to never go into my mind because um, i don't know what uh, connection i i had with biology whenever i used to uh, read biology everything used to go into my mind and uh, how much ever time i used to spend on physics physics used to never go into my mind this was the thing that i faced during my neat preparation uh, i think most of you would uh, be feeling this uh, this uh, condition yeah i can understand you uh, and for some people uh, physics might be easier so let's talk about this these things in this video so i'll be completely telling you my experience how i cracked neat by focusing mainly on biology and chemistry uh, because biology and chemistry uh, were my easiest and uh, the most favorite subject of mine uh, so let's uh, uh, focus on these things so firstly let me start by biology so biology was a subject for me which uh, uh, i used to uh, prepare read it every day i used i made sure that i was in touch with biology every day i used to spend a lot of time in biology uh, because i had something in my mind that uh, uh, i thought like uh, so biology was my strongest subject and i i had a feeling that uh, how much ever time i uh, utilize for biology it would uh, fetch me good marks because in my mock test and all i used to focus more on biology uh, and i used to read ncert completely thoroughly without leaving a single point of that so this fetched me good marks in mock test even in my first attempt i scored uh, 355 out of 360 in my first attempt so this gave me some sort of confidence in me uh, which boosted my energy uh, thinking that biology would fetch me really good marks uh, yeah and uh, i had feeling that even chemistry as um, uh, i scored uh, around 140 plus in my first attempt in bio, uh, chemistry so even i thought that uh, chemistry would uh, fetch me really good marks and this gave me motivation uh, to take a drop and i knew that i could do uh, i could crack neat in my second attempt uh, seeing my score yeah uh, score in physics was uh, really um, comparatively less in my first attempt but uh, i thought that concentrating even more on um, uh these two subject and uh, giving importance to physics also i am not telling you to neglect phys physics completely uh, physics was a subject for me like uh, i used to uh, make my uh, basic uh, concept uh, uh, like easy and clear crystal clear in physics uh, and uh, i used to solve more previous year questions in physics i used to make a formula sheets for each and every chapter in physics and uh, in physics i used to concentrate more on previous year question because i tell you that uh, as you can see uh, the neat papers nowadays most of that um, around 80% of the neat paper comes from previous year questions so uh, i concentrated more on previous year questions and um, uh, i used to revise the formula sheets that i pre prepared every day and uh, even i made sure that all the topics uh, that uh, come most uh, that are asked most frequently in it are clear to me and i uh, i saw that um, uh, there was no such uh, topic left behind uh, from where the questions uh, will come in neat and coming to chemistry even i made sure that um, i learned all the reactions um, even i prepared a lot of uh, short notes and formula sheets in chemistry also because there are lots of formulas in chemistry which you tend to forget it uh, i used to paste that on my wall uh, and even i advise you to paste that sort of uh, short notes or formula sheets what you prepare um, i i i advise you to paste on the, a mirror or the area that you see most frequently so that uh, you won't uh, forget it and uh, so yeah this uh, this was my, the strategy that i used for chemistry and physics 
um i think people would uh, i have heard people saying that uh, spending more time on your weakest part uh, would fetch you good marks would would uh, would uh, help you to uh, clear all the uh, concepts in life and all sort of things but in my uh, condition it was like opposite to that the more time i spend on my strongest subject the more marks i fetched because uh, earlier during initial days of my neat preparation i had no idea um, there was nobody uh, to guide me i used to just make my own thoughts uh, my own ideas i used to create my own ideas and i used to just um, uh, uh, like i used to prepare to do list uh, 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 like about the things that i have to do every day like that Uh, and i used to change it also and i used to waste a lot of time init- uh, initially uh, because i thought that spending more time on physics would uh, fetch me more marks and when i used to give mock test my mock scores would be uh, would be like less and i used to feel really really very bad because i spending more time on physics and less time on these subjects uh, thinking that i would do this uh because they it would be easy like that uh, it it did not gain me anything in fact i wasted a lot of time um i was like completely blank and uh, for for so many months i was like uh, there was nobody to give idea and one day i was like uh, i i sat uh, and studied biology like thoroughly a chapter of biology and i just gave a mock test of that and it was uh, and my score was like really very good and this boosted me and i uh, sat and thought for a while and uh, like decided uh, that spending more time on biology and chemistry would was fetching me good marks and spending more time on physics would, was like uh, i was not scoring good either in biology or in chemistry or in uh, physics this was the condition and difficulty that i faced during neat preparation so i adv- so i advise you all uh, to think for a while uh, uh, so that you don't um, face the same condition that i faced and i don't advise you to neglect physics uh, physics uh, it's like uh, it's up to you uh, i think some of you would feel biology easy and some of you would feel uh, f- physics easy so i just so most of you would be overconfident thinking that um, spending less time on your strongest subject would fetch a good score but it is not uh, for a long period of time uh, because trust me i even i have gone through this phase the more i neglected my strongest subject the less i scored in my mock tests and all those sort of stuff so i tell you to concentrate uh, more on your strongest subject rather than wasting too much of time on your weakest part and wasting a lot of time uh, even if you start now you have so many months um, trust me even 4 months are enough for you if you just dedicate yourself completely 100% for your need preparation trust me i have seen people doing this um, uh, sort of things uh, now coming to um, uh, like uh, physics uh i uh, physics i think uh, is that subject uh, that is ranked deciding subject um because i think uh, people uh, who just want to enter into their dream medical college like aims and also uh, all those sort of stuff uh, can concentrate more on physics because even physics is really important to get good rank and good score in neat They, uh, but uh, people of my category who just want to enter a decent and a good government medical college can give less importance to your weakest subject like uh, it was physics for me uh, because uh, i think scoring 140 plus in physics uh, or sometimes 135 plus is also enough to get into a government medical college uh, so yeah i advise you and i have heard people saying that uh, uh, you have to spend more time on your weakest part and um, uh you have to uh, revise uh, the weakest uh, topics that you have like that but in my case it was opposite because the more time i wasted in physics the more uh, less i scored um, in mock tests so uh, so i actually i advise you 
to think for a while understand your demerits your drawbacks your weaknesses and try to just uh, correct your uh, uh, what to say timetable and uh, your strategy so that uh, your score you think so that finally your score will get improved like that you have to see to that your scores are improving initially your scores might not Im- might not improve but uh, later on when you just um, see to it uh, you you think that and you can see it clearly that your sc- scores will be improving like that so please keep in mind all these uh, things uh, so i tell you not to follow and not to see others first of all because most of the neat aspirants um, would be like uh, over tensed and um, uh, like seeing others uh, if others are scoring well and if he or she is not uh, doing well uh, they get more panicked and all don't do such sort of things it's not like that it's up to you it's your plan it's your strategy it's your weaknesses and it's your strength that matters please focus on your strength and uh, your weaknesses also even that is important uh, but see to it that you give equal importance and you take um, the path in the right way because you are the only one person who is responsible for your score for your um, rank in it is it is nobody other than you they can guide you they can just motivate you uh, they can be with you that's all it's you who has to write re- neat and it's you who can understand yourself better than others so i think uh, uh, sit for some time uh, think for a while and um, yeah go on work hard it is consistency and hard work that finally matters it's nothing else that matters because i have gone through this phase and even i have experienced this really trust me uh, it is only the hard work and consistency that matters really um, and nothing else god is with you everything everyone uh, will read see i'll tell you one more thing everyone is going to study ncert of biology completely uh, because uh, i think uh, the person who studies ncert line by line without leaving any word makes his or her concept easier clear uh, clear like that and um, whose uh, basics are strong and uh, uh, who tries to solve more of pyqs in biology also solving previous year questions in biology is also very very important because you will get an idea of the questions um, that will come in need because i think only studying 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 uh, ncert is not enough even you have to uh, just uh, what to say solve more and more questions so that you will get exposed to a lot of questions and your mind will be uh, clear because in some uh, 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 questions like uh, you may think that uh, the answer that you have marked would be correct but it is not like that the answer that would be present in the answer key might be different so you'll get an idea of all these sort of things so that is why solving a lot of pyq pyqs previous year questions in biology in physics and even in chemistry is very very important even in chemistry uh, solving uh, a lot of previous year questions will give you an idea of the formulas that are most frequently asked so that you won't neglect that formulas and um, it will give an idea of the uh, approach and about the direction uh, how you can approach a question uh, like uh, and you'll get a lot of uh, uh ideas like time management um, how can you just uh, uh, move fast and how can you give less time to uh, biology when it comes to time management and give more time to physics um, in time management like that and uh, chemistry is that subject that is neither tough and not even easy it's like that so i i think uh, concentrating even more on chemistry uh, would fetch you a really good score uh in my case uh, chemistry i i i concentrated it moderately uh chemistry was like uh, i did not feel it too hard or too easy uh i made sure that i uh, made my concept easier as i already mentioned and i used to uh, re- uh, learn more and more reactions because i used to forget it uh 
more because these reactions are something like uh, very uh, like i used to forget it often so i used, i made sure that i um, learned all those reactions um, thoroughly so this will this and all things if you just keep in mind would fetch you really a good score because i think if i have done that anyone in this world can do it there's nothing uh, that uh, hard to crack neat it is just you your hard work your consistency your uh, motivation your motivation is important because uh, each day is like a struggle for you uh, i can understand um, that so you can take my video for your motivation you i don't ask you to follow my strategy because everyone is unique in their life you know everyone has their own uh, things uh, of their uh, uniqueness like that so you can take my video uh, as motivation so yeah there are so many youtubers they say to follow their own prepared uh, strategies like that don't go into such sort of things uh, so prepare your own timetable your own strategies um, so try to focus on your uh, uh, need score uh, in mock test try to just increase your mock test scores so that is what i would like to say uh don't uh, uh, like feel uh, bad when your uh, scores are less in mock tests yeah sometimes the questions in mock tests would be tough so your scores might might go down so don't feel bad about that try to uh, give your best each and every day try to give your best uh, whenever you get up uh, get up with a motivation uh, of wearing a stethoscope and white coat one day yeah it would uh, your dreams would get fulfilled really because even i have passed that situation so yeah if you focus all these things uh, you can definitely crack me and enter a good medical college like me so yeah all the best for your uh, neat preparation uh, work hard be consistent uh, have motivation all the best and uh, if you have any queries regarding neat preparation uh, do comment me in the comment section below i'll definitely try to answer all those sort of uh, questions that you ask uh, and uh, if you want more videos regarding neat preparation please uh, do comment that also in the comment section below i'll try to make more videos uh, regarding this so yeah thank you and if you did not like my uh, video please do like do subscribe do share and support my channel thank you have a nice day